What's going on, guys? We back with another one of Prince Stories. We're being y'all locked in with me, man. Let's get straight into it. Episode of the day, man. White boy press gone wrong. So let's jump straight into it today. Before we do, man, make sure y'all like, share, and smash that subscribe button, man. We're going up every day on the road to that thousand. We got 900, one more hundred, man. We there, so help me get there. Let's go. So you know how it is when white boy usually come through. Three things, man. They scared, vulnerable, and lost. They confused. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what's going on. This is him. So he walking around the tear head down, looking like a damn headlights. Nobody talking to him. He ain't getting no rubber. So we got the good brother out of New York. He decides he ready press him, man. What do we mean when we say press? He ready extort him for money, food, and whatever else he can get him for. So he sees that he got a good mother uptown and he got a good girlfriend that's sending him money two, three hundred dollars a pop. They sending it every week, every other week. Whatever he needs, they send it to him. That's their baby boy. So he decides to press up on him. But the angle that he takes is he just won't wait for the money. So he he pulls up on him one day, introduces himself. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, he yeah, asked me, you play cards. So the white boy like, yeah, but you don't know when he talks to me. You know, man, come on down with me. So now he really like, yes, I got the front. I'm moving around. And it's a big black guy. Yes, let's do this. So he goes down there to the table, but little do he know New York and already established with his own boy that the cards gonna be but the deck gonna be stacked which means you got different type of uh card shots in prison you got dudes that can mark the card you got dudes that can set the deck you got dudes that can build whatever hand they want literally in front of your face you will never know they that talented so they goes down there he gambles about 200 they they get them for the whole 200 new york and the dude that's running the card game they split the money so now new york tell him man i'm hungry we should go to the store so white boy like i don't got nothing in my locker he like that's cool we're gonna go to the store man Excuse me. They go to the store, man. They spend another hundred. Now he got about a hundred left. He tell him, man, we should get fifty and fifty, man. We should get fifty dollars worth of weed. The last money, we should get fifty dollars worth of wine. So he like, I really don't really say, come on, man. You gonna be stiff in here, man? You don't want to be the guy that don't get down. Come on. So he convinced him to go get some drink. Now they go back there with his New York dude. He eat all his snacks, smoked all the weed, drunk all the drink, and he left out with all the snacks that he made him buy. So now he leaving out with the goodie bag. He tell white boy Billy, man, I see you tomorrow. So he like, all right, man, see you tomorrow, New York. We gonna call New York. I can use his real name. That's my man. So boom, New York, like man, here fish. I got one. So now he don't got no more money. The next day, he see New York down there at the space table. He comes down there, asks, "Can you play New York?" Goes off. Like, what the fuck? You mean you got some money? So New York, like no. He said, "Man, nigga, you ain't playing, nigga. The fuck we gambling here, man. You ain't got no money. Get the fuck right here." So now the white boy, like, whoa, his head is spinning. He like, man, what did I do wrong? I don't know what's going on. What's happening? So he walks off to the cell, looking all sad. Boom, he, cut, he jumps on the phone, he calls his people, they send him some money. So the next day he come out, he come down there, he like, hey, what's going on? So New York like, man, you got some money? He like, yeah, I got some money, man, mom, and I'm sitting somewhere, it's nice. So now he like, man, well, come on, man, get to the table. It still had to register that he only his friend when he got some money, so he like, yes. So he sits down, play same group same, because New York and the car, man, already know anytime he at the table, you already know what to do. We're going to bust him up, split the money, good. He goes through the usual, he lose 200. They go to the store, man, spend 100. They go to the weed, man, spend 50. Go to the wine, man, spend 50. He back broke by the end of the night. He drunk high, no money, no food in his pocket. He wake up the next day, go down to the table. New York ain't got no weapon for him. He tell him, man, get the fuck from right here. If you ain't got no money, you cannot play your weed gambling. So now he walk off. He damn near sad. Now he like, man, what is I just don't get it, man. I don't understand. What is it? So now he tries to call mom and the girlfriend. They tell him this time, no, we're not sending you no money, Billy. What are you doing in there? We're sending you 300 after 300. Like, are you doing drugs in there? We're getting worried about you. You don't even spend this much money when you're home. So boom, they cut him off. So now he go a whole week without nothing. He just sad, running around, looking like a sad puppy. He ain't got no friends, no nothing. So now, finally, they send him some money. He come back, same routine, they get him. So when he leaves this time, the next day he come out, he sees that New York is down there gambling with another white boy. So now he looking like, what is this? I I'm losing my friend. He's being weird to me, and now he's playing with another dude. So he goes down there. He say, man, what's going on? So New York, man, what the fuck you mean? You got some money that you want to get in? He said, you know I don't have any money. You, I gave all my money to you. So New York jumped straight up and just choked with the nigga. You lost your fucking mind. Don't ever come down here and talk like you crazy me, nigga, while I'm playing speed. So he pushes him away. So now the white boy really got his head hanging down, but he in tears this time down there while I'm crying. He's like, this is crazy. You know how they get. So as he walking off, it's a couple of Philly brothers right there. They, they laughing at him, talking about, man, you chump ass. So he's like, what are you guys laughing at? He said, you, nigga, you done bumped your damn head. So he's like, what are you talking about? He said, if I were you, I'd have bust his ass in his head. He said, what do you mean, bust him? That's my friend. So now the Philly brothers looking like, nigga, that ain't your friend. You over here starving. Your people, the damn near sent you $3,000 in hand. You ain't got enough money to get a suit, nigga. If I was you, matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. You either going to go in there, get that lock in the side, go bust his head, get your stuff back, and then you can live here. Or if not, we going to go in there, grab that lock in the side, bust you in your head, send you on PC. Then we going to go over there and bust him in his head. We ain't even like the way he playing these little playing games with you. 
take that food that he done took from you and both of y'all gotta go see what you gonna do. He like, what is this? I kind of don't want to hurt him. So now they on the bully shit. I shot a big grab him up, throw him in the study, tell him, listen, they put the log inside the gal from time to go bust his ass in his head now. Whilst we gonna bust you. And he says, oh, wait, listen, let me get it right. So if I don't go bust him in his head, you guys are gonna bust me in my head and I have to go and I still, I'm still not gonna have any food or anything. He said, yep, that's exactly what the fuck we stand out. Do it now. So now he extra scared. He goes out, he creeps along the wall, acting like he's doing the wood from uh, New York right there playing cards. He creeps behind him with the sock out. He pops him in his head. Bang! But when he pops him, he's so weak, it just like stuns New York. So New York turned around, he like dead, like what the fuck? He fell his head, he fell a little oh, we now he got a little split chart, he a little bleeding. So he look, he turned around, he see Billy, he like, Billy, what the fuck who hit me? So Billy like I did. So he like, what the fuck you hit me first time? I'm sorry, New York man, you've been acting crazy to me, you're being mean, you don't want to play, you took all my money, I don't have any food in the jersey, guys. I just don't before he even get the words out, New York jump up and try to grab him, but he back up and takes off running, y'all. He literally running around the park in circles. He runs around about twice before the CO Sam. She like, what the fuck? She think they might be in their horse plant, but then she see the ooh wee blood dripping from New York head. She hits the buzzer. <laughs> Now, Billy's so slick and conniving and scared. As he running around, they pop a Sally poor door. So the CO's right there, like three. They go to Mason. He blows right past him, yelling, Help me. He run right past him. So now they looking like, What the fuck? They see New York coming around. They add me up now. So New York lay down for real. They hog tie him. They run the camera. See Billy pop him in the head side. They go grab Billy up and down. They say, When they grab Billy up and they got him whole hog tie on the way to the hole. Only thing Billy keeps saying is, I'm sorry, New York. I didn't want to do it, man. You know, you're my road dog. It was just even you and me, and you were just acting so crazy. New York keeps telling them, I'm going to bust your ass up when we get up here. Shut up. Stop talking to me. So they get up to the hole. They, uh, the brothers up the hole keep telling me, oh, the whole time he up there. Billy just keeps saying, New York, I'm sorry. you still mad. So he keeps telling them, shut up. I told you, don't talk to me. When we get out here, I'm going to bust your ass. So now New York say, listen, how about we do this? I'm going to have mom send me some money, and we can do it like old time. Go down to the game. You know we'll probably lose, because that's what we do. We'll go to our favorite store guy, try to get some uh, weed or some wine, and we'll just celebrate like we usually do. He said, well, you got some money. He still don't get that. He's being used and abused. So they do that about 65 days later. They get out. He runs and dry the money, but New York was on his way home at this time because the only reason he got locked up listening to this show is because he stole a police car in the back of the car with the service pistol. He grabbed that, hangs out the window, let off three shots. They lock him up. The judge still was ready to get him leniency, but his dad, who was a big time doing whatever he do, he had a connection with the judge. He told him, listen, man, just give my son six months because I want him to feel the pain. But they give him the six months, he get released. Now, while he uptown, he's still sending letters back into New York. So now all the men look like, let me type time, y'all on. Come to find out they was doing more than uh washing clothes in the sock closet. If you know, you know. That's just another quick reminder on how fast the white boy got pressed and ended up busting New York head bad all over nothing. And they was probably lovers wearing me. So make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, man, and tune in. We dropping every day. We on the road to that thousand, man. We a hundred away.